James Ward, Adventures in Stationery, A Journey Through Your Pencil Case. Embark on a captivating journey through the dynamic history of stationery, as we explore the evolution and cultural significance of various writing instruments in Adventures in Stationery, A Journey Through Your Pencil Case by James Ward. Discover the humble beginnings of pens, pencils, paper, and staples, and celebrate the contributions of their inventors and innovators. From ancient reed pens and feather quills to the modern-day fountain pens and ballpoints, learn how these essential tools have shaped human civilization. Delve into the intricate art of pencil making, trace the lineage of paper, and uncover the stories behind famous brands and their iconic products. Celebrating the Humble Stationary Inventors The paper clip is considered a perfect design, featured in prestigious museums in New York and Germany. However, no one knows who the original creator of the paper clip was, or many other everyday staples such as pens and pencils. It's important to remember and celebrate the inventors of these seemingly simple yet essential tools that contribute to our culture. From Reads to Luxury, A History of Writing Tools Humans have been recording their thoughts since the beginning of civilization, and the way they have done that has continuously evolved. Writing started with marks made by fingers and continued with the invention of the pen made from reeds, which was used to write on sheets of papyrus. Later, feather quills were introduced, which could not store ink, hence needed to be dipped repeatedly into inkwells. Fountain pens were introduced in the late 1800s, followed by the invention of the ballpoint pen in the 1930s. The ballpoint eventually became more popular than the fountain pen and is still widely used today. Additionally, companies like Parker and Montblanc marketed fountain pens as luxury items. The history of writing is a story of humanity. The dawn of writing began with symbols scratched into walls and clay. People started with their fingers and gradually progressed to tools like the ancient Egyptians' early pen made from reeds. Feather quills were the next invention, bringing a finer line and making it suitable for parchment and vellum. Although they lasted long, writers had to keep dipping them in ink. The mid-19th century saw the introduction of the dip pen, which had a metallic nib and a wooden or metal body. Later, in 1884, the first successful fountain pen was introduced by Lewis Edson Waterman that had its ink reservoir. The ballpoint pen, a game-changer, arrived in the 1930s after Laszlo Biro experimented with ways to efficiently ink from a pen to paper. This innovative design was inspired by children playing with marbles, and he noticed that rolling the ball on wet pavement left behind a trail of water. In 1945, the ballpoint pen hit the European market under the name Biro and later in the US as the Eversharp CA. The push-button retractable pen was invented by Paper Mate Company in 1949 and Parker introduced its Jotter ballpoint in 1954. Fountain pens were thought of as luxury items introduced by Parker and Montblanc in the 1920s, still carry that label, with some available for hundreds of thousands of dollars. As the mass production of pens began, the ballpoint pens became more popular than the fountain pen, which is still widely used and celebrated as the writing tool of the ages. The Humble Origin of Pencils The pencil, which came after the pen, traces its roots back to a stormy night in the 16th century when farmers discovered that graphite marked their sheep. Despite the inconvenience of marking fingers, the locals found ways to use graphite, from wrapping it in string to using wooden styluses. These innovations led to modern pencils made in Keswick encasing graphite in wood. Pencil makers control the lead's hardness by adjusting clay and graphite levels, inspired by French scientist Nicolas Jacques Conti's mixing of French graphite with clay. This method is still used today. Henry David Thoreau also contributed to the pencil manufacturing process by establishing a grading system that American manufacturers still use today. Before rubber erasers, people used stale bread to remove pencil marks. Pencils that made history The Dixon Ticonderoga Company's Yellow Ticonderoga and the Eberhard Faber Blackwing 602 are two pencils that achieved fame and mystique. The Ticonderoga was used by George Lucas and Roald Dahl 
while the Blackwing was praised by writers like John Steinbeck and Vladimir Nobokov. Discontinued in 1998, the Blackwing became a mythical object, and its devotees still celebrated in publications, websites, and auctions online. From Bark to Banknotes From its origins in 2nd century China to the modern-day use of polymer banknotes, the history of paper is a fascinating tale of innovation and evolution. This summary tracks the gradual improvements to papermaking, from pulping bark, hemp waste, and old rags to the introduction of wood pulp. The rise of industrialization and increasing efficiency in paper production meant office workers needed new ways to organize loose sheets, leading to the invention of the paper clip, including the iconic, gem, clip. The history of paper offers a fascinating insight into society and how it changed over time. The Origin and Innovation of 3M The story of 3M Company dates back to 1902 when a group of Minnesota businessmen formed it as a mining concern. However, the company is widely known for its office supplies, particularly adhesive products like scotch tape and post-it notes. 3M fosters innovation through various practices like the 15% rule, which encourages employees to work on projects outside their usual duties. This culture of invention supported Dick Drew, an employee of 3M Sandpaper, in the 1920s, leading to the creation of scotch masking tape and cellophane tape. The company addressed the issue of the tape sticking to itself by creating a tape dispenser, later improved by Jean Otis Reinecke, who devised the famous disposable plastic, snail-shaped dispenser. The creation of post-it notes was an accident caused by a colleague's use of a useless glue modified by 3M chemist, Spence Silver. Art Fry applied the adhesive to pieces of paper used as bookmarks, leading to the development of the iconic post-it note. Promotional Stationery, a Cost-Effective Marketing Strategy Research from the British Promotional Merchandise Association shows that stationary items are highly effective promotional products because they are useful items that people value and retain. A significant percentage of recipients keep promotional pens, pencils, calculators, staplers, etc., which reinforces brand awareness and increases customer loyalty. As an example, Barclays gave away pens at a branch, resulting in 4,000 pens taken in the first five days, illustrating the power of promotional stationery as a cost-effective marketing tool. The Allure of Stationery In an age where digital technology dominates every aspect of our lives, there's a growing concern that traditional stationery may soon become a thing of the past. While the convenience of typing memos into our smartphones is undeniable, the limitations of stationery are precisely what make it appealing. From the tactile sensation of a handwritten note to the personal expression it conveys, there's something special about putting pen to paper that technology hasn't replicated. As software designers continue to phase out stationery-based icons, the distinction between machine writing and handwriting will only deepen, leaving us to appreciate the classics even more. Stationery has stood the test of time, evolving over the centuries to adapt to the needs of writers, artists, and professionals worldwide. Adventures in Stationery by James Ward offers a fascinating insight into the development of pens, pencils, paper, and various other writing instruments that have been integral to human civilization. Despite the digital age threatening to overshadow traditional stationery, the appeal of handwritten notes, personal expression, and tactile sensation remains strong and highly valued. As we move forward in a world increasingly dominated by technology, we may come to appreciate the significance and charm of these simple yet powerful tools even more, 